Okay, so this is a nested for loop inside an array. I mean, I'm trying. To, I'll try to explain it to you, but it's going to be quite difficult. It's not going to be super easy, but an inconvenience. Okay. So, right, the first thing we need to do is we need to understand that. How the for loop works. So we're going to create a simple for loop, standard loop, right? And we're going to put in console.log and we're going to put in i. Oh, whoopsie. I put the wrong brackets. My apologies. So the I will show three times, right? Zero, one, two, three. Right? So this loop is going to work three times. Because as long as I is smaller than the length, which is three, you see one, two, three. It's going to execute three times. And the output is going to be the value of i. So the, on the first iteration, it's going to be 0. Second iteration is going to be 1. And third iteration, it's going to be 2. Right? Why, again, why did it, why did it loop three times? That's because there are three entries in the array. Okay, now what happens when we nest an other for loop, the second for loop, loop? So for variable j equals zero, j smaller than r, <coughs> we're putting an i in here, that length. And then we're going to increment j by one and we're going to put in console dot log and we want to see the value of j now it's going to show us zero one zero one zero one three times now this here is technically zero this here is technically one and this here is technically three. You can see it if we add console.log i. Oh, whoops, sorry. So you see zero is zero one. One is zero one. And two is zero one again. Whew, okay. So why is this happening? Why is this happening, right? That's because, that is because, while j is smaller than the length of those things. So, <coughs> let us pretend, let us pretend that <coughs> that we are that we are the program. Yeah. So the first thing we do we perform the first loop, right? We perform the first loop we arrive at zero. Now, this one here is going to be zero. So this loop is going to kick in. This loop is going to kick in. This one is paused. So on zero,
Now, on zero, it's going to figure out that there are two. Man, it's so complex to explain. Now, basically, what's going to happen is when this loop executes first time, this loop kicks in, right? Because there are two in the array, there are two numbers, right? So it will loop twice, right? And then it will finish. So this will give us this output here. Right? And then it's going to do it three times. So again, the first one executes, pauses, produces one. And now this loop kicks in, it produces zero and one. And then that's it, it finishes. Now this loop kicks in, produces two, pauses, and this loop kicks in, produces zero and one. And then that's it. That's how it works. So again, if we are if we are the program, that's what's gonna happen. We're gonna execute this one time, produce zero, pause execute this twice, because the length is twice. Produce this too. And now it restarts. We go again in here one time, and then we go in here two times. And then we, we stop. Yeah. And why does that happen three times? That's because the length of the array, original array, is three. Why does the second loop happen twice? That's because the length of the second array that is embedded inside the array is two. Okay, I hope that helps.